she's making the point that there is Has a she accused me of a crime? emotional or psychological manipulation. I've asked you a question and I've allowed you into my house. I'm asking you a question. Correct, but you're not the boss here because I've allowed you into my house. I'm asking you the question. Correctly, and I'm telling you. You get to decide the answers. No, we're equal here. I've allowed you into my house. You don't come here with a position of authority. I'm doing you the favor as leg legacy media, giving you relevance by speaking to you. Bounce with me. Bounce with me. Got my brother in the gang sipping in the house with me. The ride for me. Die for me. Put your Yes, welcome back. Android 10 absolutely destroyed the BBC in his house. Like you saw here, immediately he released a video expressing himself by taking to this interview. He was not happy with the kind of questions they asked. He thought they would try to even care to know what happened to him in jail, but nobody was willing to ask those questions. But instead, he saw the contrary. But I'm really wondering if this should be even new to Android Tate, because we know what the BBC will try to do. They have been painting Hugh Black there will be no single day that they will change that. So he could have expected this like normal. You believe I'm the most dangerous man in the world, Lucy? I'm not answering your questions. But then we need to change the dynamic of this interview because, and I'll make this clear, I allowed you into my home. I'm, I'm doing you a favor, giving you the first interview I'm giving to the public. You don't come here with a position of authority. You're not the police. I don't respect the BBC. I don't know you. You do not come here with a position of authority over me. We are equals, we are people, we're citizens of the world, and we sit here as equals. And I see you as my equal, and if you ask me questions, I can ask you questions back. For you to come here and sit down and pretend you're the Gestapo, and that you don't have to answer my questions, is, is disingenuous, this because I don't owe you anything. This is asking questions, and you answer but I don't owe, no, however it, you want. This is a conversation, and I don't owe you any degree of authority over me. So let's make that clear. And that doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman or from the BBC or the CNN. I'm here to you answer your said. questions and be honest with you and do you a favor, Great. But, and I'm doing you a favor, but you come here with loaded questions, you're trying to paint a narrative of me which is negative. I'm asking you about and that's things fine. you've said that people are concerned about. And that's fine, you but you're not going to sit here and say you don't answer my questions because you're not above me. You have said that a woman's intimate parts belong to her male partner, and if she goes on OnlyFans, he is entitled to a cut of her income. You are extremely, it's actually very, it's very conf confusing to me why you're going to sit here, take long format podcasts I've done, which are three or four hours long, in context where I've sat with OnlyFans girls, 10 or 15 OnlyFans girls, where we've been joking back and forth, ignore every comment and satirical comment and sarcastic comment that the females have made, and then come along and say, you said this and that and you're the most evil man in the world. And for you to sit here and say that that is my true core beliefs and that makes me is a it? bad person is disingenuous. Is it? Of course not. Was it sarcasm? Absolutely. Well, you were being sarcastic when you said a woman's intimate parts belong to her male partner. No. You didn't believe that. No, it's not that. It's that you haven't watched the show at length, and you should have, because the woman was saying, my man's car belongs to me because he's my man, and she was on OnlyFans. And then 20 minutes later, when she said she was on OnlyFans, I said, ah, well, you're selling your body, that belongs to him because he's your man. And she laughed, Do she you laughed, believe it? she laughed, and she said, ha ha ha, yeah, that's probably true. If you, you watch the show, it? if you watch the show, it will make sense. For you to come here with doing no research at all, and then say, I don't understand what I'm talking about, but I've got this piece of paper with a few things printed off. That's why you're saying the silly things you're saying. I really think that it's genuinely sad that when the BBC has a chance to finally interview me at the end of all this. Yes, if you don't know, they carry out this interview a few days ago and Andre Tate decided to post all the interview on Rumble. Reason being, the BBC had to edit out, pick out some parts, you know, post on their platform. You will see clearly how these people operate. Android Tate here is actually calling them out for who they are. I know there are some people that don't agree with him, but sometimes we should really look into certain situations with clear eyes. I've done a lot of videos following up the case, what happened when he was still in the Romanian jail. I did a couple of videos particular to that, the kind of reactions I get, 
sometimes extremely disturbing. Now, when you take a look at what Android Ted said here, that is the truth. Opportunity, you know, to carry out this interview because BBC is the first, you know, media that I've seen. It is an opportunity for them to ask real questions. Look at where they are going back. Like Android Ted said here, that they are going back to some kind of jokes he used to make. Not into real issues like he, what he expected. I think he did a video about this where he was not satisfied after this interview. I will play it so you can see exactly what he said. But before I do, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please endeavor to do that. And if possible, why not share this clip? In the interest of saving absolutely everybody's time, I feel like doing a generalized statement to all legacy media inside of the Matrix. And I'm doing it to save their time and mine, as well as protect the minds of the masculine youth for the future. I wanna make it very clear that the legacy media, which I enjoyed the company of today, have made a massive mistake and missed a chance to do some genuinely interesting journalism. After being unfairly incarcerated in a Romanian dungeon, I thought that even the BBC, in its absolute arrogance and hubris, would be smart enough to come to me after six months being the first interview I gave to The Matrix, and be smart enough to ask questions people were genuinely interested in. What's it like inside of a Romanian prison cell? How were you treated? Why was a person's liberty... Andra Tate has denied foiling a culture of misogyny and defended his reputation in a combative interview with the BBC. You see how they put this article? That is to clearly tell you exactly how they wanted this interview to be. How were you treated? Why was a person's liberty deprived of them for six months without charge? How is your mental state post your unfair incarceration? Things people are genuinely interested in hearing. But instead, they came with the same old talking points. And I'd like to address all of these talking points to the Matrix media now to prevent this happening again, because it's a monumental waste of everybody's time. I say things on the internet. I've been making content on the internet for a very long time. Finding a clip from 2016, eight years ago, finding a four hour long podcast from 2016, Ignoring all context, ignoring everything positive I say about men and women in the world, and taking a single sentence and trying to pretend that's my entire worldview is not the bombshell you think it is. Nobody cares. Everybody understands what satire is. Everybody understands what a joke is. Everybody understands it's the internet. Everybody understands all of these things. Yes, when you listen to what he said here, these are actually basic questions that any journalist would ask. Even if you have a bulk of questions, at least pretend that you care. Yes, people really want to know what happened to him because since then, nobody has actually known what has been happening with him in jail.